Tone your arms and core without going to the gym in today's Class Fit Sugar with celebrity trainer Teddy Bass. All you need are three to five pound dumbbells. Let's do it. Let's go. So we're here for our arms with Z and Heather. You guys ready to get going? We are, and I'll be doing modifications because I am pregnant. So follow along with me if you want. Perfect, so here we go. We're gonna work a little core stabilization. So we're gonna lift our right knee up. We're gonna do a shoulder press, bicep curl. So you're gonna draw those abdominals in. Make sure you're spreading your toes on the left foot. You're gonna get a little ankle stabilization going there. You girls feel those abdominals engaged? I do, you can really Good. feel the core here. And three more. Nice. Two. Got to work the balance. If you fall, bring it right back up. Beautiful. Find your center, hips neutral, and now pull up the left leg, and we're going with the left arm. Nice. It's always good. Look, I keep falling. I need to fire core It's hard a little to more. talk and balance. I know. Breathe. <laughs> Drawing the abdominals in, finding your center. Think about the bicep and the shoulder. Good. Nice form, you guys. Four more. I really need your abs here. Yeah. Three. Definitely. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Center yourself again. Now we're going to go again, add a little bit more stabilization. So pull up that right knee again. Now as we extend the arm, we extend the leg. Perfect. So bring it in and lift. So that's when you want to really draw that belly button into your spine. Drawing the abdominals in. Touch that foot down if you need to. Teddy tricked us by saying this is arms. This is full body. Well, <laughs> I don't you know, know about you. But. <laughs> I'm all about the abdominals because that's the center of your entire body. Last one. Beautiful. Switching sides. So if you notice, I'm actually kind of doing the modification as well. Just so you can see, you can tap down. I'm not or even doing the modification, You can Teddy. leave the, oh, so that I'm glad I was doing it. So you can leave that knee up. That means you're fully centered, Z. We love that. Three more. Two. And one. Beautiful. Nice and easy. Good. That was great. So, yeah, so take those legs a little wide. So now we're just going to add just a slight little plie with a bicep curl. So the weights are right in between your legs. So we're going to go into a nice little plie. And you're gonna rotate the arms in. One. Good, so choosing the weights you want. We're doing 20 reps. We said three to fives. If you need less, you can do that. Again, making sure that you're dropping that weight and pushing up right through the heels. Trying not to let your body tip forward too far. Mm -hmm. Should be far starting to feel those Biceps starting to get a little bit of a burn, ladies. Yes, it's great for those t-shirts. <laughs> Four more, and three, and two. Now we're gonna work on the strapless aspect. Good, okay. so for our next exercise, we're gonna do, I like to call this a right angle. So our palms are facing down. We're gonna start with the right arm going forward, left arm going to the side. So we're just gonna go straight up, and down, and up. So you only need to go shoulder level. And if you notice, we're not using any momentum. So our knees are soft. So we're making sure that again, I keep saying it over and over, but the center of your whole universe is your abdominal and core strength. Absolutely. Everything rotates from there. Mind, body, and soul. <laughs> and I think our shoulders should actually be starting to burn a little bit now, yeah, ladies. Definitely. And four. And three, and two, and one. Ooh. Beautiful, let's keep it going. Let's go a little wider. Take those feet wide back into the plie. Now we're gonna do a hammer curl. So the, oh. there's no rotation. So go straight down and then curl them straight in. So try to keep those elbows as tightly as you can and just squeeze those biceps as tight as you can. And squeeze, keeping the shoulder blades down. And it's great to alternate the type of bicep curls you do, so you get the full bicep muscle. You're not just getting one part of it. Right, there are two muscles, by meaning two, so the rotation actually gets the outer head, and then this one gets the shorter head. So we're making sure that we're getting both angles, so we're getting width and length. 
Hey there, how are you doing? Dresses. I'm good. You guys doing good? Too. She's quiet back there. I know, she's not saying Four. much. <laughs> Try to focus. And three. <laughs> and two. And one, beautiful. So now we're gonna go do our shoulder raises in a right angle again, but now we're gonna actually add a releve. So you're really gonna have to fire those stabilizers in your legs and your abdominals. So you guys ready? Love it. Starting with the right arm forward and the left arm out. Here we go. One. Hup. Breathing out. Whew. This burns already. Yeah. <laughs> those calves. Everyone always forgets when you, they say arms, they forget to do shoulders. And if you think about it, when you're wearing your strapless, beautiful shirt that you have on, that you actually see your shoulders. So getting those deltoids nice and work keeps a nice little beautiful appearance on the arm because oh the shoulder is actually connected to the tricep, which we'll get into next. And four more. Feel this in the whole back of the Three. Leg. Oh yeah. I feel my two. hamstrings too. <laughs> And one, beautiful. So I love to call this a hugger. So you're gonna put to both hug. feet together, <laughs> lots of hugs. Lots of so hugs. hug in here. So take the arms out, we're gonna do reverse flies with a kick. So you bring it in, shoulder blades pinch together, and then you extend those arms. Three, nice. Breath out, four, and five, and six, and seven. You should be feeling the back of the arm and the rear delts. I feel it all of them. Two this. more. <laughs> Last one. Beautiful. Now just take one foot back, get a nice little stagger. Good. Arms cross, and here we go again. Same cross. Cr same cross, and they can actually go back a little further if you want to add a variation. More of a V motion. And this staggered squat just gives a little level of instability, which targets the core a little better too. Correct. Two. And one, beautiful. And it actually allows you, if you're starting to fatigue, yeah. it allows you a little more range of motion. Beautiful, and last set, and back. So if you notice, you're doing 10 in each section. And four, and five, six, seven, eight. You guys good? Oh yeah. Nine, <laughs> and 10, beautiful. Nice, okay. shake it out. So, hug it out. <laughs> hug it out, hug it out, stretch it out. So my next favorite, we're gonna do a little more shoulder. So we're gonna do around the worlds. So, weights in front of you, palms facing forward. Slightly bend the knees, drawing those abdominals in to support your back. And you're just truly gonna take it all the way around the world. One, mm -hmm. making a little globe. And two. I love these. Breath out. Good. So your shoulders are actually one of the most overworked muscles in your body because they work on all three planes of motion. So what you want to make sure that you do is allow rotation. So don't try to stay too stiff, keeping the abdominals engaged. Mm -hmm. That's a really important point, Teddy. You want to work through movements so you're not just isolating muscles and building them up. Exactly because our bodies are made functionally. So, so many people are so rigid that you actually can create more injury and risk. So we prefer, my shoulders are on fire. So I'm trying to talk through this. Five Ooh, more. How many more? And four. And we got three. it. We can do it. Yes. One, Come on. two, yeah. up, up, up. One. and one. Woo. Nice job. So let's finish up this class fit sugar workout with our little shoulder presses. Both arms up and 15. Nice and easy, good little pace. Cannot say it enough, soften the knees so you're not locking them out, putting any stress on the lower back. And you've got to remember to breathe. Making a slight angle at the top. It's gonna to almost be a triangle. Finding your center. Girls, you're starting to get a little bit of a burn. A little bit, Three, yeah, definitely. Two more. And one, beautiful. Bring those arms down. Now just hold them out really wide and then just do the last curl. So this is the last third angle we're doing. So we've worked it in every angle possible. No excuses. No excuses. Let's do this. Run through this 10 minute. Who has an excuse to say I can, I don't have time. We just did a class fit sugar in 10 minutes and worked your entire arms. And core. And core. And, and calves. Legs and and a little bit of butt. And five more. Squeeze them out. Three, two, 
and one. Beautiful, just drop those weights down. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch, dropping those shoulders. Take the arm across. So making sure you add a little bit of a stretch in those workouts so you can totally cut down the risk of soreness, overtraining, injury. Beautiful, drop them down one more. Inner clasp the hands down behind you. Just softly take the arms down by your glutes. Shoulders pull back, shoulders down. Relax it out. And relax. Good job. Awesome. Nice job, ladies. Arms Good are ready nice. to go. We're all ready to flex. <laughs> Thanks for showing us this intense workout, Teddy. My pleasure. You did a great job. Thanks. I can really feel it on my arms and shoulders. You can combine our other sessions with Teddy for a full body workout on Fit Sugar TV. See you next time.